Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Happy Friday and it is a very happy Friday indeed because it's my birthday eve. Yes, tomorrow, Saturday the 24th of June, I will be turning 24 which kind of feels crazy that I have reached 24 and I think when I was younger I thought that was so much older than it actually is and I still feel like a child but that is fine. I'm very very excited about it. It is Friday, I've just logged off from work so I'm feeling that Friday feel, I'm in such a good mood and especially with my birthday coming up, very very excited. I'm about to head out and head to the shops to get some picnic bits because tomorrow to celebrate I will be meeting all of my friends in Regent's Park to have a bit of a picnic, maybe Prosecco, a little bit of bubbly to celebrate, get some music on the speaker, put the tunes on, in the sun for my 24th and I want to grab some bits now just so I'm extra planned and ready in the morning to head straight there because I think it's going to be a bit hectic with like waking up. I'm going to try and have a slow morning, take myself off out for a nice slow breakfast, treat myself, be on my own. Then by the time I'm back my family should have all woken up and I can ring them because I am a twin and coincidentally we were born on my dad's birthday which is such a quirky fact about my brother and I and about myself. So I want to ring them to do the whole FaceTime present opening card opening together because it's not very often that we celebrate our birthdays apart with it being such a big family occasion we usually always do it together so it's quite weird for me not waking up on my birthday and being with them which is why I want to keep myself preoccupied for breakfast while I'm waiting for them to wake up because I'm an early riser come back, do presents and cards, then some of my Cambridge friends will be landing so I wouldn't have time to grab my picnic -y bits in the morning which is why I'm doing it now and then meet those first because they can't do later in the afternoon and then later in the afternoon it's some other Cambridge friends and some work friends, a weird eclectic mix of all my different people that I love most coming together to celebrate me so I'm very very excited, I'm gonna pop my sunnies on, pop my hat on and head out to the shops, at the minute we're having a bit of a heat wave in the UK so I'm not so much looking forward to walking out in this heat because it is sweaty. Gosh, I really must be turning 24 tomorrow because for the first time ever I wasn't asked to show my ID when I bought alcohol in the supermarket. Like I don't know whether to be like pleased or insulted that I don't look like younger than 21 anymore or around that sort of age because they're meant, the policy is think 21. So I clearly look over 21 now if they didn't ask my ID. Like, I can't believe it because I've always had quite a baby face and I've always been mistaken for younger than I am. So I'm quite shocked. <laughs> I'm about to turn 24 and I didn't get asked for my ID. I was just about to start filming and then a plane decided to fly over. But I wanted to say I'm getting a bit of a pre-birthday evening pamper ritual going on. I'm gonna light this bay and rosemary candle that Astrid got me for my birthday, which I love. My birthday, 
I think last year or maybe the year before and it just smells so fresh and nice I am gonna vino up because my skin has been exposed to the sun a lot recently so I want to feel nice and moisturized and pampered I also have been loving this face theory pore bright n10 serum paired with the relaxing night cream now i do prefer the unscented version but they had the scented version of this on offer in a bundle with the day cream and i love the day cream as well the day cream smells a bit like oranges it's very like summery sun creamy vibes it's an spf day moisturizer this one the night cream smells like lavender which is really really nice as well good for uh, just just before you were going to bed when you can smell that delicious and then i was laying out my presents and my cards so i've had a few cards to say the least come through in the post um this one actually was given to me by anastasia before i left when i was back in newcastle because she's always really on it and buys presents well in advance because she, as soon as she spots something that she knows i love she just buys it like that'll do for emma for her birthday or christmas which is super cute and she also gave me this beautifully wrapped gift that i'm laying out on the table to open tomorrow unfortunately i kind of butchered the ribbons a little bit when i got them in my suitcase and transported them back to london but they still look beautiful nonetheless this wrapping paper she's so amazing it decorating presents and wrapping them all lovely so very excited to open that tomorrow and also big shout out to my bestie maria who has been doing a lot of planning behind the scenes to help tomorrow go as smoothly as possible she knows i'm a stressor and a planner so it's always really hard for me to relax on my birthday when i want everything to go so swimmingly well and i've organized this picnic for tomorrow and i've been out buying bits and kind of stressing that everyone's gonna be happy and she's kind of like no this is your birthday it's about you being happy and she's gone out and bought loads of bits and she's trying to keep me calm so big shout out to her as well so much love for my wonderful friends i'm just so excited like this is why i love my birthday so much because it's just putting all the people i love so much together in one place and seeing how much they all care about me which i mean they they show they care about me all year round but especially on my birthday i'm really really grateful to all of the wonderful friends and family i have alexa sing happy birthday to me <laughs> Alexa stop. Good morning, good morning everybody. It is Saturday the 24th of June which means it is my 24th birthday. Yay! I'm super excited. I've just woken up. I mean I say just woken up. What time is it? It's 20 past 7 so I've been awake for an hour now. I'm a very early riser and I've had a slow morning, I lay in bed all cosy and comfy like wow it's my birthday and I'm not in a rush to get up and do anything and that was the best present of all, just being able to lie in bed and relax because it's not very often I get to do that so that was very lovely. I now also have all of my cards here to open which I'm super excited about um, and this gift from my best friend Anastasia as I showed you all last night. So I am feeling very excited this morning. I've had a couple of birthday messages come through from friends and family. My university group chat was popping off with birthday wishes, so that was lovely. And yeah, I've got a small selection of cards. I've got some more here as well um, to open. So I'm gonna start working through them and get ready for the day ahead. And now for the present, it kind of feels a crime to open it because it's wrapped so neatly. But I'm dying to see what it is. I mean, I know from the size, shape and weight it's books. I even said to her, she handed it to me like, hmm, I wonder what books you bought me. But I'm not sure what she'd get. I don't know. Um, maybe she's gonna look on my Goodreads to check what I've already read and what I haven't or what I've said I'd like to read. I don't know. Let's have a look. classic and it's Wuthering Heights. I love the Bronte sisters. They are my favourite authors. My favourite books are Jane Eyre and Wuthering Heights so oh it's got that new book smell. This is such a good gift. Thank you so much Anastasia. Oh I love it. 
these are books that I will come back to and read again and again and again because they are my favourites and Anastasia knows I'm building a bit of a library so I like to collect nice looking books as well and was it last birthday or the birthday before she got me a book stamp that said um, this book belongs to Emma and my surname on it like a very personalised book stamp that you can press onto the first page and it imprints that that logo or that um, writing and yeah she's sticking with the theme of books this is so lovely thank you I wonder what the I wonder if the other one's Jane Eyre because it's quite this is quite big it is I recognize the cover straight away because I've seen this in Waterstones so many times and every time I walk past it I'm like I want that and then I actually I bought this for a friend's birthday which is so weird because I knew it was my favorite book and my favorite edition of this book but really I wanted it for myself but I was like no this will make a good gift for somebody else and now I finally have my own copy my favorite book like this is such a good gift I'm so chuffed with that thank you so much Anastasia right I am about to head out to treat myself to brekkie at a local cafe no one in my family is awake yet so I can't ring them and I do not want to sit in the house quietly on my birthday I want to go out and celebrate and I love breakfast breakfast and brunch foods are my favorite so I want to treat myself today I'm also going for brunch tomorrow as well with Maria but who says you can't have two birthday breakfasts so I'm either gonna get a chocolate hazelnut custard croissant from one of my favorite bakeries or there's a new juice cafe that's just opened in my local like village town area and they do acai bowls and I've never had an acai bowl so I would really like to try one of those so I'm gonna see what's open when I get out there because it is still early it's like 10 to 8 and I don't know what time these places open on a Saturday but either way I think it will be a good birthday breakfast treat you all as I do my makeup because I'm in a massive rush now unfortunately the cake didn't go to plan so there's one that I saw in Tesco I've literally been looking like all week running up to my birthday in all the different supermarkets to find the one I want because you guys know how much I love cake and how seriously I take cake so I found the one I wanted it was like a buttercream unicorn cake I know I'm 24 very mature of me but I really like a vanilla sponge with jam in it and I love buttercream so I wanted a cake with lots of buttercream icing on it and that one had lots of white frosting so I was like that's the one for me and I saw it yesterday in Tesco when I went to do my grocery shop to get some picnic bits in for the picnic today but I just didn't have the hands to carry it so I was like no worries I'll get the bus tomorrow and I will pick it up then so I went back today big mistake because there was only one there on the shelf yesterday so I should have known this was gonna happen but when I got there it was gone all the other cakes that were remaining were chocolate cake and I like chocolate cake but it's not my favorite thing in the world I'm like a carrot cake or a vanilla sponge kind of girl so I was like it's not what I want like I could just get an ordinary carrot cake an ordinary red velvet or something with cream cheese frosting but then I was like that's not special that's not birthday like I could get that for any occasion um for anyone and I wanted it to be special because it's my birthday so I was like well I've got time it's 10 o'clock I will walk to the big Sainsbury's or the big Aldi so I did that I walked to Aldi they had a Madeira sponge in but it didn't look like the most special birthday cake in the world and it didn't have a lot of buttercream icing on it like the icing to cake ratio was just a bit off for my liking so I walked to the Sainsbury's, found one that was a lot more expensive than what I wanted to pay, but it's fine. So I picked up this gorgeous 
uh, buttercream roses Madeira cake. Great, just what I was looking for. Happy days. And then I waited at the bus stop and waited and waited and the bus just didn't turn up. And this lovely kind lady was like, I'm sorry dear, I don't think the bus is um, operating today. There was an oil spill on the road or something so it can't travel down these roads. And I was like, Ah, oh, thanks for letting me know though because I could have just been sat waiting there for it and it never turned up. So then I had to hop on the overground to get back to, well, as close as I could to where I live and then hop on a bus. So now I am running very behind schedule. My Cambridge friends are due to turn up in five minutes. I've literally just jumped out of the shower. I'm putting my makeup on. I am not ready. And that is where I'm at. So I'm going to drop and finish doing my makeup because I'm in a rush and I don't want to do it wrong. And they're going to be landing in five minutes and I also need to try and find time to curl my hair. So I'll speak to you later. Friends, come, you can come through. Okay, are you filming? Yeah, I am. <laughs> For the birthday vlog. <laughs> We have made it to Regent's Park. I am with friends. We are just setting up the picnic bits now. I'm waiting for everybody else to turn up. But I can finally feel relaxed after what turned into quite a stressful morning. But I'm gonna crack open the Prosecco and get the birthday celebrations underway. Mm -hmm. Just twist it, right? Oh. Woo! Oh, that was quite good. Yay, thank you. Hi, it's Maria and she came bearing all the goods. We've got Uno cards, Monopoly deal, you brought a frisbee. <laughs> Feel free to speak if you want to speak. I don't want to make you so shy. You're so awkward. We can talk about what you brought. She brought spring rolls and what are they? Nuggets? Uh, yeah, nuggets. They look so tasty. Yeah, yeah all the snacks. Ah, and crackers and rye, what do you call them? Rye, rye bread? Rye, rye crackers? Yeah. And uh, tiger baton. Wait, can you even see that on my camera? We've got a little feast going on. I'm feeling very excited, very happy about my birthday. Now people are going to start rolling in, which is nice. Oh, and she brought a picnic blanket for my very allergic shame legs. Putting your other friends to shame, but <laughs> yeah, you're, Maria's literally putting my other friends to shame who only brought themselves. But it's fine because they turned up early, so it meant I didn't have to sit on my own in the park. So that's what they brought. Your your presence is present enough. <laughs> <laughs> this is not good! <laughs> Yay! Wait, you're hiding Ed's face. You're so close to him. in the middle. I know where you've been. <laughs> no, I haven't. You're going to be on the vlog. How do you feel about that? <laughs> oh my god, these look so good. What's the flavour? I think you have to tag them. Cardamom? Oh, yes! Oh my god! What is it? Next to cardamom. Maybe that's why they smell. But like, there's that cardamom. What are they? One of them is cinnamon. My favourite! And the other one is chocolate and hazelnut. Oh my god! Thank you guys so much! That's so sweet! Yeah, I'll do a little, I'll do a little review on the vlog. <laughs> More friends have arrived. These are my work friends. Oh, this is Alex, David and Jenna, who have kindly brought some food to the picnic and some delicious cinnamon buns. And yeah, it's, it's going really well. We've got the tunes on, we've got the Uno rolling. Tim's just played for me because I'm vlogging, so I couldn't play. Shout out to Tim, who now knows my hand and could very much screw me over in the Uno. But I'm feeling so good and so loved this birthday. Day. I'm so glad that I decided to do it.
everybody coming. Thank you to everyone who brought food and for the fake friends who didn't. <laughs> 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 Thanks everyone, I've had such a lovely day and I love you all. Aww. Thank you. Thank you. Happy birthday. Thank you. We are back at my place after a lovely afternoon out in Regent's Park. We stayed way longer than I expected, so it started at one and then it ended at about... Sorry, my friends are being silly in the background. It's really hard to concentrate on vlogging when everyone's being silly. It ended about 7pm, which is like a very, very long picnic. Didn't expect it, but time flew away with us because we were having such a good time. Anyway, it all came back to mind to freshen up a little bit. I've changed into this out out dress and we're about to go out in london nothing crazy but i am 24 and i want to live a little and have a good time so my friends are feeling ready to rock and roll but they were not expecting this change of plans so no one is as dressed up as i am i'm feeling a bit overdressed but it's my birthday as the birthday girl i feel like i'm entitled to get dressed up so we're gonna go out and just see where the night takes us and fingers crossed it will continue to be a good one <laughs> Good morning, good morning everybody. I had the most wonderful birthday picnic yesterday. It went on way longer than I expected because we were all just having a good time. No one kind of knew what time it was, it just, the day ran away with us because we were having so much fun. There was frisbee, there was uno, there was just so much good food, like good music, it was just everything I could have hoped for and more. And then we did decide to head out for a little boogie in Soho afterwards. Not like a big heavy drinking night, but we just wanted to dance and have chill drinks not like clubs just like a couple of nice bars which is my kind of vibe because I do love music and I do love a bit of a dance and then yeah came home and straight to bed because I'm up for brunch this morning with Maria I am feeling a little bit ropey because I think of all of the cake and chocolate and uh, cookies cheese the buttercream cake like all of the heavy rich foods I consumed yesterday and I don't think they've done so well on my tummy because they are very creamy things that were left out in the sun so not feeling 100% this morning and it's super 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 hot like it's gonna be 30 degrees today no cloud coverage very humid no breeze this morning I woke up I can already feel myself getting like sticky and hot and I've already showered and everything so yeah it's it is hot in the UK right now, but we're still persisting with brunch. So I'm gonna leave the house in 10 minutes to go meet Maria and maybe get, you know what? I really wanted to get um, the French toast or like pancakes or something from this place. It's a brunch place I've been to before and had a savory option. And I've always, always wanted to try their sweet options because they look so incredible. But obviously I ate so much sweet stuff yesterday that's knocked me a little bit sick. I'm more in the mood for savoury now, so I'm like, no, like, the reason I picked this place is because I wanted to try the French toast, but we'll see when I get there. Maybe I'll see the menu or see what other people are eating and I'll change my mind. And that is a wrap on my birthday weekend. And my friends honestly couldn't have made it any more special if they tried. The picnic was fantastic, the brunch was fantastic, everyone brought food, the flowers that I got from my friends were beautiful, the books from Anastasia, the cards, just absolutely everything was showstopper. And I just, it made, it made me realise how loved and appreciated I am. Not that my friends don't show me that every day all the time but on my birthday in particular they really did pull out all the stops so thank you so much to all of my wonderful friends and family for making me feel so special and so loved brunch this morning was absolutely delicious maria and i went for one savory option and one sweet option and then went half and half so we could try both so for our savory starter sort of breakfast we went for the veggie brunch which was like hash browns, beans, eggs, hummus, spinach. They had these really delicious spinach and feta parcels. They were mm, delish. And then for the dessert breakfast, we went for the French toast, which 
I have been thinking about this since the last time I went to this brunch place. I wanted to go back solely to get the French toast and it's all I've been able to think about. So the fact that we got it, I am overjoyed because it definitely lived up to my expectations. In fact, it surpassed my expectations. The French toast, the brioche bread, it was just so light and fluffy. The cinnamon flavour, the honey on top, the flaked almonds, the berries, it had like cranberries, strawberries, blueberries, honey drizzled on it. It was show stopping so definitely a birthday treat now i think i need to go lay down and recover in a bit of a sugar nap because i've had so much sugary stuff this weekend and my stomach is really not thanking me for it but what are birthdays for if not to celebrate and eat well and eat lots of cake and treats so i've definitely definitely done that and thanks to you guys for coming along to my special birthday vlog as well i hope you've enjoyed watching my celebrations and i hope you all have a lovely weekend thanks for watching as ever everybody see you later bye